I need more cowbell. <laughs> my family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, today we are at the Big Goodwill. Um, we're meeting Dagny here. I don't see her car yet though. So I'm not sure when she will be here, but she will be here. We're gonna head in and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Broken. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Oh, they're always broken. Why are they always broken? put him on the shelf like this. And put it away. He's so cute, though. He looks kind of cute without any others. Oh, not cute enough, though. <laughs> He wants to go home with you, I think. Look I, at him. I don't want him His to red go eyes. home with me. Hey, you know, if you put a little battery-operated tea light in there... It would make it look scarier. Yeah, his eyes would glow red. <laughs> no, <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I don't know what that... It has webbed feet. Oh my gosh. It's definitely a, a rooster chicken. That's crazy looking. Oh yeah, absolutely. It's actually like, I don't know, is that like a paper mache maybe? I guess it's not webbed feet, it's just right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, look above it though. It led me to the silver crest. And it's not broken. Don't you fun sponge me. <laughs> Let me see it. Two ninety nine. Looks good. Somebody peeled the sticker to see what the marking was. And then was. they were like, "There's no mark on it. It can't be Fenton." No, I'm gonna Little leave it here. And I came along and was like, "Oh, looky here. What is this? Oh, he's, he's so broken. sad. He's broken. He's a little magnet. This is an interesting piece. I love the design of it. Oh, it's kind of heavy." It's got uh, different colors on it, and I like the color combination. Three ninety nine. I'm gonna tip it over and see what the marking says on the bottom. It is Portugal. Is that Portugal? I, I think it is. Claudio. I kind of like that piece. I don't know though. Uh, okay, I'll do it. I just really love the color combination of it. I just found this carved horse on the shelf. I don't know if that's made from quartz. He's got all of his ears and everything. Looks like there is a crack there though. That might be natural to the stone. Oh, and look at this little girl. She's sweet. So much stuff to look at today. What do you think of this? Do you think that's quartz? It's like a cloudy stone. Yeah. I think it's neat. It has like color. It's like reflecting. Yeah. It is stone because you can see the I like it. I'll stick it in here. Isn't this supposed to have repellers or something? It'll have like the. And then the bottom is broken too. That's a shame. I did get one here. I think it was last year that was complete. I'm not sure what happened to that. I don't think it ever got sold, so it might be with our Christmas stuff still. I found a cat bowl. <laughs> it's a dollar ninety-nine, and it looks to be in good condition. I'm I'm not sure if there's a maker's mark on the bottom because it's hidden. I will break the rules. Okay, here you break the rules. Oh, they put that on there real good. They didn't want anyone seeing the mark. Oh, there is a mark. Is it Target? Oh my gosh, why should it be Target? It looks like an, I don't know. I don't know, I think it's a letter, right? Come on. Like a letter A? It's a good, st I don't know, I don't want to mess up. That. Okay, all right, all right. Well, it'll be a mystery. Okay. In any case, I like the bowl. It is a cute bowl. I'll take it. Snatch that right I off did. the shelf I in knew. motion. I knew I knew. We were backing, we were literally backing up. And, and you're like, <laughs> you're coming She's sweet. She is sweet. I'll have to look her up. Absolutely. Ginger frost. That yeah, looks to be vintage, but clearly it is not. And then down here, this goose, an esco. 
He's got some glue residue there, though, like something is missing. That is, that's crazy. I wonder how heavy it is. It's actually not that bad. Looks like it's old, though, right? I don't know anything about tools, so we'll leave it right there for somebody who does. Let's check them over. They could be silver. Probably not, though, right? I know. I can never find... Oh, there it is. It is... Sterling. Sterling. 99 cents. <laughs> I'm just going to film you That's shopping. fine. And then we can exchange videos because I mostly just film you and then we <laughs> would have videos of ourselves. <laughs> Royal Adderley. In the box. I think the box has protected them. This is so much well, better. Not I know. This is better than the carnage that we found. Oh God. <laughs> that was terrible. Throw them it? all in a bag together. I do got it. I got it. So I got a little sterling. I got a little... You're mm -hmm. fancy. I'm on right? fire today. Yes. That looks like Alexandrite. Wait, my finger. <laughs> Get your finger out of there. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. I love that. Ooh, fancy. No, no, that's good. I like it. All right. I thought maybe that could be a haul, but it clearly is not. What are these things? Not for milk. Do not put your milk in here. Bad idea. Do not use for milk or milk products. Interesting. All right, noted. This actually surprised me. I thought that this was a hobbyist piece, but it's actually made for Yankee Candle. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting that. I guess you would put a little bit of wax in the top and a tea light. There are chips on it, so that's why I'm leaving that one behind. Occasionally I will pick up the um, Halloween Yankee Candle stuff. This is intense. Maybe it needs batteries. Yeah, it probably needs batteries. <laughs> oh, he's a little bell. <laughs> These glasses are kind of curious. They all have different um, knots on them. It looks like one, two, three, four, five. There's five of them here. Hmm. I'm not sure if those are modern or are vintage, but I might grab those. Looks like I missed one. But this one is marked silver plate, so I can stay here. That is a puzzle box. I'm not sure exactly what it's supposed to be. But it's got the piece on the side. $1.99. I've done pretty well with puzzle boxes in the past. So maybe I'll give the kids their Christmas gift in a puzzle box. This little guy actually looks like he could be German. Unfortunately, he's missing his fingertips. And part of his bow there on the side. Oh, hello. How did I miss you? English China flowers, but unfortunately there is a chip there. Which is usually the case, so it was surprising to find those in the cart that were undamaged. Alright, I'm not seeing much down there. So Ashton broke his keyboard last night, and he was extra whiny about it. <laughs> and uh, granted, this is not a, a gamer keyboard. It's not special. It doesn't light up. But since he broke his, I'm going to replace it with just a plain black regular keyboard. And it is wireless, so it doesn't need any anything else. There we go. Problem solved. Thank you, Goodwill. I just found this on the shelf. And I found this. <laughs> they were right next to each other, and that's what she chose to pick up. <laughs> I 
love it so much. Two ninety nine. Well, if you hadn't picked that up, I wouldn't have noticed this. Let's be real. Okay. And you're I, welcome. And how many times have I done that? Or I'm like, oh, look at this. <laughs> Somebody loved this puzzle so much though, they saved the lid and put it in a shoebox. But that is next level. That's really... Like I mean, look at all the grass that you would have to <laughs> figure out. the grass alone. That blade matches that one. And here is a cow. That is really, really old. But there's lots of cows too, so it's like expert level. Tuco workshops. I feel like you should put this together and then send me a picture. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get right on it. Look, they're from the 30s. I might do it. It's a dollar ninety-nine. Yeah, but you have to figure out if it has all the pieces. That's the, the only way part. to do that is to put it together because it doesn't have a a number account. So oh, you literally true. you literally have to. It'll be like that one. It'll be like that one puzzle was like about seventy-five pieces. <laughs> That's what it said on the box. There were. I need more cowbell. So we are going to head up to the checkout now. We did not get a ton of stuff today, but we got some pretty cool stuff. I think Dagny won with her schwan. Oh, yes. My schwan that's underneath all it's the under oh, oh, my goodness. Hopefully I still did. Let me <gasps> there it is. There it is. There it's a pretty girl. I love that. The purple. I think it's the purple that's doing it for me. It is very pretty. Any other color, I'd be like, Pff. Yeah, and it's not chipped. It's a miracle. It's amazing. All right, well, let's go see what the damage is. Well, our total spend today was $33 after having shopped at three different Goodwills today. My car is completely full, um, but we're going to get out of here now. But I am going to include um, a little bit more footage because this was a short video. Uh, we didn't really find a whole lot, and I think you guys deserve more. <laughs> so, here we go. Okay, well, we just got done Christmas shopping at the mall, our favorite place in the whole world that we haven't been to in, like, two years. <laughs> um, but we are here now at the Goodwill Bins, and we're going to head in and see what we can find. If we can buy and flip for a profit. So here we go. Ooh, the Goodwill Bins. <coughs> okay, well, I like to start with all of the breakables. So that's what we're going to do today. That is false graph. It is not Mackenzie Childs. Now a lot of this stuff is smashed because when they wheel these carts out, it's like a feeding frenzy. Baby bullet. <laughs> I think I would rather buy one of those new than used. <laughs> Honey, that's kind of cute, but it's a shame its little ears are broken. Another broken figure in Unfortunately, this has a giant crack in it. This looks like treasure craft down here. Oh, what do we have here? There's more to it, so let's move that. It looks like it is Hawaii treasure craft salt and pepper shakers. We've got one pineapple. I wonder if we will be able to find the other pineapple, but I'm gonna stick it in the cart just in case. Oh, you know what? It's all chipped up. Look, <laughs> of course it's all chipped up. Um, they are on the underside, but I just don't think there's enough resale value there for it being chipped. So we're going to leave that behind. We've got a cold painted Fitz and Floyd little present box back here. I mean, that would clean up nice, but unfortunately, once you put it in water, I feel like all of that paint would come off. However, it is Fitz and Floyd, and since we're paying by the pound, might as well grab that. Doesn't look to be broken. And here we've got a broken dreidel. That's kind of a shame. Looks 
looks like a pretty decent ornament. No, never mind. It's made in China, but it looks nice. I like that. Let's see what else we can find. We've got some painted rocks. Oh, look at that little owl down there. He's so sweet. He's got a broken toe, though. Broken toe. That was a hobbyist piece. You can see they signed it there on the back. Um, what is this? That is wooden. I don't know what that thing is. It's not a salt and pepper shaker. It's just kind of weird. But a hobbyist painted bunny there. I think that is actually supposed to have a lid because I've seen it at the thrift store before and it has um, a lid with eggs on it. Back there, that looks like a little cottage. It is a Dickens Christmas made in Taiwan. I've been seeing these a lot lately. Unfortunately, these chip extremely easily. Right, let's see what's down here. What is this? Looks to be upside down. I've got some. <laughs> oh, I didn't know they made little packets of uh, Olive Garden salad dressing. That's like the best salad dressing, too. That's just a little trivet. This looks like part of a fairy light. The bottom is nowhere in sight. Got a milk glass mug. Citizen's fire. Oh, what is this back here? Looks like a um, Norman Rockwell image on those glasses. I see a smiley face. Unfortunately, <laughs> it's really cracked. Which sucks because it probably happened here in the bins. Which is such a shame. <laughs> Look at this. Those are for corn. I've never seen those before. It's like a little dachshund. Teddy bear. It's like Andrew was looking through the books and found some corn stuff. There's this one. So this is a, a yearbook. A, yeah, it's a it's a New Jersey, and one just sold last year for sixty bucks. Oh wow! So I'll take a chance on it. Absolutely. For what they charge here, and then that one's cool because it's still got like if you flip into it. Mm -hmm. here, you know, the, Got it. All the guys' graduation cards are in. Oh, there. that's really cool. So like these are all. Yeah. He must have been the popular kid because he has lots of writing in his yearbook. Oh yeah, it's like chock full. That's crazy. I never got that much writing in my yearbook. Yeah. <laughs> the teachers were the only one that signed my yearbook. Yeah, so this is no wheel. Um, so it's a new. I looked it up. It is New Jersey. 1944. Yeah. So like you have to look at some of these old yearbooks because you can't discount them. Oh, absolutely. Some of them. And and sometimes you'll run across like, for example, my mom went to Erasmus High School in Brooklyn, and she's class of 1970, and in that class was uh, Donnie Most, Who's who that? played Ralph Malcolm in the Happy Days. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Dude, I get 10 bucks a piece for these. Ah. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Let's start digging. It's weird. I always find Garrett stuff. Oh, you always find Garrett stuff, yeah. Juliet loves this movie. Is vintage Halloween decorations? Ah, they're all tangled up. Yeah, I think they're beyond salvageable. I found this, and I really love the colors of it. Unfortunately, no matter how much I dig, I have not been able to find the lid. And there is this obstacle of hangers in my way. Um, so I can't really get to that side of the cart. So I may have to move on and admit defeat. This is Lilac Raspberry Lavender. Sweet little vintage Christmas. I wonder if that was made out of a Christmas card. Looks like a vintage hat. It says imported fur, genuine fur felt, medium. 
I wonder if that can be cleaned. Um, it does have a $1.99 tag on it, but everything is by the pound, so I'll stick that in there. It's a neat vintage hat. Reusable vinyl decorations. <laughs> oh, goodness. I wonder if they would even work anymore. 1996. I don't know. If there's no resale value there, Juliet would sure have fun uh, putting, <laughs> putting those on the windows. An interesting looking lamp back here. Hmm. That's kind of a curious shape. And that could be shipped. What does it say on the bottom? Made in China. I don't really see anything exciting on the bottom. Oh my gosh, the holy grail. Oh my god, it's broken. I know. I'm rich. No way. Of course you would find money in the bins. What is that cat? I want to see that and I can't because I've got gloves on. Here, kitty, kitty. There we go. <laughs> it's a kitty. You can get some uh, plastic cutlery for home? Yeah, um, I think I'll pass on that. <laughs> but we could maybe use this toaster. toaster. <laughs> Alright, we're getting ready to head out and Andrew walks over. <laughs> Goes, haha. Smirking with this. What this is, is this? Cool. It's, a, it's a lucky horseshoe. Oh, okay. Well, shoot. Well, all right, these then. are all these are all different, but I mean, yeah. These ones are uh, it's off it's off of a uh, carousel horse. Mm -hmm. almost, that's cool. I almost wonder if maybe that's what that was off of, like a newer carousel horse. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess you win again, Andrew. <laughs> well done. King of the bins. <laughs> King of the bins. Your title is intact. We got to get out of here. We got to go get kiddos from school. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> okay, well, our total spend here at the bins today was just $5 for this bin of stuff. And uh, when we get to the car, Andrew's going to tell you all about the book he found because he had to win. He always wins. Every time we go out together, he's always the winner. Makes it no fun. <laughs> I wanted him to tell us a little bit about the book he found because he did find another book. And um, I guess it's pretty good. Well, I mean, I don't know if it's like awesome, awesome, but I was able to find more of this author's books online, but not this particular title. It's uh, 1947, Eva Evan Knox, and the book was called The Doctor is Coming, and it's all about the doctor coming to school and uh, the kids being scared at school. Um, but some of her other books were selling for 20 to $30 a piece, and this one's a first edition, 1947. So it could have some value. It could be a $20, $30 book for what those books cost in there. Yeah, um, our total spend was five bucks. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was, yeah, it actually wasn't even that. It was like four and change. And I rounded up to five for the donation because yeah. I just, I do that when I go in there. Yeah, and it is paid by the pound. So it's $1.69 per pound at the bin. Uh, we didn't have a whole lot of time there today because we um, did spend a lot of our time shopping at the mall before we <laughs> went to the bins. So uh, I feel like we still we still did decent. We're going to make some money. Um, we don't typically find very high dollar items in the bins. I don't um, know. That yearbook could bring 50, 60 bucks. Oh, yeah. Already, yeah. I mean, like hundreds sold. of dollars. No, no, no. no, no, no. no. But you know what, though? When you think about it, though, you figure you turn a $5 investment into a hundred dollars oh yeah you know, that's that's 20 times your money that's that's pretty darn good and if you can do that a few times a week you can really make yourself um you can really make yourself a little bit of a living you know on the side by just going to the bins and finding things I mean, you're not going to find awesome things every single time you go in there. Occasionally people do, though. I know somebody... Absolutely. Somebody recently found a glassy baby in the bins. Nice. And those are worth, like, over $100 sometimes, depending on the color. So, 
You just never know what you're gonna find. I know it's not everybody's taste. I do like to go in there from time to time um, and just poke around and see what we can find. He usually finds gold or silver. Um, today it was books. <laughs> and but, a uh, Garrett metal detecting finds box. Yes, and the Garrett metal yeah. detecting box. Retails for like 10, 12 bucks. There you go. <laughs> so we're gonna get out of here now. Um, we're on our way to go get the kids from school. And then we're going to take them back to the shop for a little while. And uh, I, I guess that's really it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, even though it was a little bit different. And we will see you guys tomorrow. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.